Hi, um, my name is Cedar Bell Seiji, and today I'm going to teach you how to put on a songmo. So here I have all of the things that are components of my songmo. The first thing I need to do is take this part here apart and I put this on my hat. And if you have just bought a new songmo, you should practice just doing this with the songmo, um, with this piece of the songmo, uh, as long as you can. Anyway, mine, mine works fine now. So you put this onto your hat and screw it on. You should screw it on quite tightly. Um, because if you make a mistake, then, you see how it looks in here? If you make a mistake, then uh, later it's going to be very embarrassing when you're practicing or performing. So you put that on, and then this part screws in to the end here. And on the end here I have my ribbon, but I'm not going to untie that yet because I'm still inside. So I need to show you how to put this on. So you have a black piece of fabric, and if you have long hair, you have to already put your hair up on top of your head. You want it kind of on top, not in the back. You take the black fabric and you grab it on one end, not in the center. and make sure that it's just a little bit above your eyebrows or even sort of overlapping your eyebrows a little bit is fine and tie it uh, in the back uh, tightly but with one end a lot longer than the other end and so try not to include your your hair in the tie. Now take the long end, pull this part up, take the long end and you need to tuck it inside so that all of your hair has been tucked away. Uh, so your hair is not visible and it's not going to create a giant dreadlock inside of the sangma. So it should look like that. Now, now you put the song on your head. Make sure you put the back part in the back. And the song mode cannot be, if it's on top of your head like this, it's absolutely wrong and you'll never do song mode correctly. You have to put the song mode on the back of your head. You can see how it's sort of here, sort of near the nape of my neck. Now this is a temporary tie right now. So it doesn't really matter where I tie it. I tend to do it here on my chin, which is sort of uncomfortable, but it's less uncomfortable than here. So I do it there. Now this white piece is the most important part. This is how you keep the sun on your head. You put the white piece here, right after the black cloth begins. You pull it to the side and you loop it around the tie so that it comes to the top and then pull it forward. Pull that forward a lot and then tie it really tightly behind your head. I tend to use just a, a half bow tie because it's very easy to untie later. Now, now I can move this to the correct place, and then, but this will stay on now because this white piece is what's keeping it on. So I can move my head around or whatever, I can take a break and untie this. This properly ties, not here, but here, right underneath the chin. If it's there, I can continue doing it for a long period of time and it won't hurt my chin. This piece is not essential. Now, I use this piece, the people who taught me use this piece 
but some people that I learn with don't. Um, and I notice that my teacher doesn't always bother to. This piece is more or less just helping the sangmo to, to stay in place. So I tie that on. And then the last piece is this one. It's decorative. I can loop it here, but it's not necessary. So tie that on. Again, I just use a half tie. So you can see what this looks like in back now. And you can see the angle, that it's really on the back of my head, not on the front of my head. So if I'm going to go practice now, I can just pull this forward, untie my little loop, stretch out my ribbon, and I'm ready to practice. And as long as I'm talking about ribbons, I can point out one thing. Your ribbon should be this long the length of your arms. That's the, that's the length of the ribbon. If it's longer than that, it's not going to be proper for a songmo, although for a yildubal, of course. So, I'm ready to go.